Right here is one of Abby's letters that she writes for Letters of Hope. She gave one to me when we finished our podcast together because she felt like I needed one for my own personal journey. And I was very fascinated to see what she would say for me and what mine would, I guess, aspire to help me with. Um, as a lot of you know, I deal with anxiety, um, just general life challenges, just trying to life can be hard for me sometimes. So yeah, and I, I believe that's very relatable for most people. So look, I haven't opened this yet. I have no idea what's in here. Let's open it and see what it's all about. Oh wow, it's a card. And there's a little, oh, there's a little business card in there so you can help others. You are stronger than you think. Isn't that wonderful? And it's a personalized card too. Wow, she puts a lot of work into this, guys. Like, just remember, she doesn't get paid for this. All right, here we go. Dear Heather, I wanted to send you a letter to remind you on the days that you need it, that you are an inspiration to others and you are. Wow, these are, um, oh, that's confronting. Um, I don't know if I can read this out to you because I'm kind of embarrassed, so. Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start again. Dear Heather, I wanted to send you a letter to remind you on the days that you need it that you are an inspiration to others and you are truly important to this world. We need more people like you. I mean, Abby, I don't know if you write that to other people, but it's a pretty special thing to say to someone. <clears throat> whenever you find yourself... Uh, whenever you find your lovely self doubting how far you can go, remember how far you have come, all of the fears you have faced, and the battles you have won. You have overcome so many of your fears and you didn't get this far to only get this far. Please remember that you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. I want you to know that you are enough, exactly as you are. Believe in yourself because you are awesome and wonderful and lovely <laughs> Abby Whew. oh girl oh <laughs> okay so she has no idea what I've been going through at the moment and I can tell you right now like to the people who know the level of crap that I've been facing currently in my private life, like, I don't know if the universe sent her something or if she just picked up on it or if she just has an amazing gift to know what people need to hear, but that was, um, oh. Oh, I feel like I'm touching my pearls. <laughs> I'm gonna need a cup of tea or a strong gin. <laughs> That's like, oh, I feel like I've been kicked in the shins or the kicked in the vag or something. That's like really emotional for me. Um, anyway, look, make sure you listen to the podcast and please share this with a company that you know of that could potentially help put money towards what Abby's doing and make this a career for her because. Can you imagine if you're in a dark place and you got a letter like that? You just, that's a bloody game changer. And every single one of her letters is completely unique to the person and completely different for each person. And, um, you know, I guess the part of that that's been really personalized to me is she knows how hard I work to 
inspire others to know that they're enough and that they can work really hard if they want to and that they can do more than they can do more for their lives than they think is possible so that was really nice Abby thank you help her and help us pay it forward by um sharing that now if you'll excuse me I put on makeup and now it's running all over my face like I mean, I've managed to keep that together reasonably well. I'm quite proud of that. Now that's an inspiration. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go have a very strong drink of coffee, clearly. Did you see that? Jeez Louise. That was pretty special. Far out. Have you stopped filming? You haven't, have you? Stop, I did the video. Don't. Oh, it's so embarrassing. I hate crying in front of people because I ugly cry, you know? I look a bit like I'm, I look like I can't decide if I'm gonna poo myself or fart, which is a very similar combination, guys, to